Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're in Canada. Again. A. Yeah. And we're here with Jessica, my sister. My older yeah. sister has a child now and I she know. decided to stay up here. She's really f***ed up. Um, she <laughs> But I thought it'd be fun, and she thought it'd be fun, mostly because she just wants to get her hair done, and I need to record a video yeah. that we kill, bur we kill, kill two birds with one stone and read some Reddit stories. Am I a scallywag Reddit stories? It's been a while. And uh, we're in, uh, my office is completely empty and boring, so I thought I'd go into my retro 60s shroom room, guest bedroom themed room. Uh, so yeah, this is this room. It's really fun. And I love this yeah, we're gonna be fixing her f***ing dork ass hair. You know what we did it last? Super blunt, I don't know. December. <gasps> and we just did like a quick little thing because right. George was, yeah. Yeah, so I was a little anxious for time. Bust up her hair. We're gonna make this blonde as f and we're gonna read some right Mommy makeover. Exactly. George might make an appearance at some point. You probably She's will. fine with him being on camera. I'm fine. She's, she's I, I don't care, but she said she's like, he's cute, share him with the world, my grandma. <laughs> but he's yeah. downstairs with grandma right now, or Nana, so mm -hmm. let's get to it. Give them a compliment first before. Oh, my mom brain. I'm gonna compliment your brains. It's good. Because you mine's leaving, and you all have very beautiful brains for yeah. just, living day in day out following my sister enjoying yourselves yeah. like just having humor in your life it's great it's so great. i compliment your brain it's great let's get to it okay first am i the or am i the skeleton sorry am i the skeleton for yelling at my sister after she leaked private videos of my room okay i 19 female live with my parents my younger sister, 16 female, and our four dogs. Sorry. Recently, my sister sent private videos of my room that she took when I was at my lowest point mentally to her friend. Oh, because oh, it was messy. This oh, friend then messy. sent the videos to all of our friends. <gasps> for everyone we knew to see. Aww. My boyfriend, 22 male, and several of our friends saw it before. They finally took it down because my mother told them to. My sister's friend said he did it because I needed to learn my place <gasps> and that no one was going to give me any sympathy oh. because I didn't deserve it. I screamed at my sister and her friend and called them out for invading my privacy and humiliating me purposely. I blocked my sister's friend and unadded them on everything. I still haven't really talked to my sister. My mother said that I had done it to myself and that oh. I should have kept it clean. Oh. So she knows that I was not at all mentally stable while at those times those videos were taken. Am I the scallywake? Uh, Holy no. shit, no. Like just... No. Um, That's no. Crazy. As someone that, listen, okay. I got some problems, all right? <laughs> when I get low, and she can attest to this, I do not take it's care tough. of myself, let alone my room, and it becomes so messy. She's probably been through it as well. Oh, like, yeah. I'm sure a lot of you guys have been through it too. Oh, but yeah. But like, holy shit, that is so embarrassing. And I'd be mortified. Like, I was so embarrassed to have anybody over, so I just never had anybody over. Yeah. That's so, that's such a greasy bitch thing to do. Like. And not helpful in any way. No, not at all. You're not the scum. Wig, ma'am. Um, no, because like even well now, like even just not mentally low, like life gets busy. It's and hard to true. keep yeah. it, it's hard to keep up with stuff. And then this world is just moving so fast that I find like once you finally get into your area of just being by yourself, you're just like, I just want to be by myself. Yeah. I don't want to I don't want to use my free time to clean right now. Yeah, absolutely. And sometimes it just kind of what do you call it? Tumbleweeds? No. Yeah. It gathers and it just yeah. makes it worse. And whatever. It spirals. Spiral. Whatever. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. But yeah, no, you're not the scallywag. Um, uh not at all. No. That was so rude that That's she awful. used that. Okay, that put her up for okay. adoption or whatever. And like, okay, now I'll just even play like, okay, say sh your sister did share it with her best friend. Why did you even go that much farther to share it with everybody else? Yeah, that's crazy. Like, that's just, be that's your bully. Her sister's a bully. Yeah. That's just bullying. Like, that's not okay. Like, anyway. my family was just like, What's wrong with you? <laughs> you need help? You need to you need to talk to somebody? You need help cleaning well, that, up? Yeah, and then it's, yeah, that's what you do. Do you need help cleaning up? Yeah. Like, you don't make them feel bad for what they're going through. Oh my goodness, the amount of times that, like, well, Alyssa, our other sister Alyssa, I feel like we put her to work oh, every time she yeah. comes home from Missouri. Absolutely. We're like, hey, so do you want to make some money and help me clean up this place? Yeah, exactly. The amount of times I've made her, not made her, I've asked her if she wanted to help clean up my place and I've paid her. It's worth it for me. Absolutely. Anyway. I forgot to screenshot the comments.
comments below, but I'm sure that they agree with us. Yeah. So I'm not, on to the next. It's on fine. to the next. Okay. Am I the scallywag for not getting my girlfriend a pastry because she's on a diet? Let's read into it. So, my girlfriend of two years is an absolute gorgeous, stunning woman. I love every inch of her and I don't think anything needs to change. Over the past few months, she went through a really rough time with some family and work stuff and as a result, dished a lot of her exercise and healthy eating habits. As a result of overeating junk food, she put on 10 pounds. While I tell her every day that she's beautiful and I mean it too, she is uncomfortable and two weeks ago started talking about how she wants to cut out junk food, start exercising again and go back to her baseline weight. I support her efforts to return to healthy habits. Mm -hmm. Last week on my way home from work, as I often do, I stopped in a favorite bakery in the city. I usually stop at least once per week, and while in the past I would always pick something up for myself and my girlfriend, this time I only got something for myself because she's being oh. vocal about it. She will cut out pastries. I got myself a big cinnamon roll with cream cheese glaze. Yeah. Delicious. When I got home, she saw the bakery bag and she asked, what did you get? I had to admit that I didn't get anything for her since she said she wants to cut out the pastries. She got upset and said I should have texted her when I'm in the bakery and asked if she wanted anything. I said I just didn't think she would since she'd been vocal about wanting to cut out certain foods. Mm -hmm. She then said I shouldn't have gotten anything for myself either since mm. now I'm just flaunting it and making her feel fat. She cried a lot and Aww. she was a bit cold towards me. I'm generally confused. Okay, so what I'm getting here is she just found the bag. So it's not like he ate it in front of her, like brought her home and ate oh, it Oh, he didn't? Her. Well, I'm, I thought he said he came home with the bag. When I got home, she saw the bakery bag. Yeah, like walked through the door. Oh, why don't you just eat it and get rid of the bag? That, that, I was just gonna say, like, eat it in the car. We all do it sometimes, okay? <laughs> like, I got home. Oh, I'm just like, oh, I got goodies and... I, got, I bought my lunch today. Usually I'll buy it for somebody else, food. but then, yeah, like, that's, I don't know. I mean... I understand. I understand where you're Get coming it. from, but you aren't, um, you aren't thinking of the other person and how that would make them feel, especially women. Just yeah. going to say it. Most women, that's going to be their reaction. That's you saying, hey, McFatty Fatterson, <laughs> you don't deserve a pastry. And <laughs> no. like, that's what, the, that's what it says in our heads. Cause that's what, that's just no. how we function. That's you know? tough. I mean, not that's not for every woman. I'm just like, I'm deeply insecure. So I know I would find, I would think that as well. And I, I have been in those yeah. situations where it's like, well, what, like if she wanted it so bad, why don't you just say, hey, have that? Or that, yeah. Be like, you know what? I'm sorry. Or like, the, I mean, that could have been the easy way out. <laughs> there's, yeah, there's a good way to communicate about that too. You could have been like, he could have said what he said. He's like, oh, I just thought that you were doing this and I thought it would help you. Is that what he said? He kind of did. He said, I don't know. She got upset. I said, I sh and said I should have texted her. Okay. I said, I just didn't think she would since she's been so vocal about wanting to yeah. cut out certain foods. Yeah. Is that my turkey? Is that <gasps> Hi, buddy. Here. We went and looked outside, but it's raining pretty hard. Oh, no. That's no fun. Mommy looks funny right now. George is here. Oh, I, don't, I don't know. I, I understand. You weren't like, you're not the asshole, I don't think. No. Oh, sorry. What did you think we're doing up here? <laughs> what did you just say? She, my mother, she, know, she knows we're filming. You just what? sat in frame and said, oh, sorry, are you filming? <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> It's fine. Just yeah. just sit. Oh, you're just watching, buddy. George is on the ground. He can, he can go on the bed, Mom. I'm fine with it. Um, no, I don't. I honestly don't think. I don't think he's a scoundrel. Yeah, I, 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 listen, I got emotional. All right. I I immediately thought that um, you came home flaunting it. Yeah. Face. Yeah. And you didn't think of her feelings, which maybe. Uh, but I understand where you come from. All right. I'm gonna do. You're also young. You, you're young. So oh, really? they're together for two years. It's still like yeah. honeymoonish. You'll figure it out. All good. Is there comments? Yes, there is. First it's one. You're George. not the scallywag, but you fell right into the trap. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. No matter what they say, always ask the question, I'm at the pastry store. store. Would you like anything beer? Trust me on this one. Save yourself the headache. Yeah. No, it's, just, it's just a lesson. Yeah. It's just a lesson you learned. You know, it's a tough yeah. lesson, but it's I a lesson. I think it's the only sane and healthy answer, no matter asking blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I see your point, but I also would find it thoughtful and supportive if they per purposely didn't get me a baked good because of the goals I expressed. Her emotions are valid, but did nothing wrong. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're, yeah, we, we got there. We got there. Okay. Head on over to sour.gg to get your sour boys on. New drop every Friday.
Okay, so um, she's a tower. Now, we had a baby emergency. George was being a baby and we need to take a break. And while they had a break, I just went him. So we're back. We're like halfway done. Let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. Okay, am I the scallywag for hiring a private investigator to catch my husband cheating? Probably not. <laughs> well, unless he's not cheating, not. that's embarrassing. Let's hear it. Over the past couple of weeks, I've noticed my husband acting differently. He's been coming home later, taking more frequent trips to conferences, and just overall being more distant. It's probably been a month since we've had and not for a lack of trying on my part. He's always says he's too tired for he or he's not in the mood, which is fine, but it's just been all of a sudden and very not like him. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. One of my friends suggested I hire someone to see where he's going and if he's oh. actually being truthful. Oh, she said I was well within my right to be concerned. Okay. I, it's, not, it's not a lot of context, but all right. No, like, do you not want to talk to him? All right, all right. I hired a young woman through a company to follow him. He had surgery conference in a city about two hours away. He told me exactly where the conference would be. After thinking the decision over for several days, I decided to go through with it. I told the woman I hired to go to the hotel and see if he actually is cheating. I gave her pictures of him, pictures of his car, and even told her what he would be wearing. I was constantly having second thoughts or whether I'm insane for even going to such lengths. She says he wasn't doing anything suspicious the entire day, just sitting through lectures and going to different workshops. Mm -hmm. But after the conference, he didn't go back to his hotel room. He went to the bar and ordered a drink. Okay. She she said that my husband saw her and uh, walked up to her and started a conversation. She said he was pleasant and not flirty at all. Okay. She said he respected her boundaries and was just making conversation. She told me that most guys she's been hired to follow are usually much more forward and flirty, but it's not out of character for my husband to be more patient and a method methodical guy in the room. Hmm. Anyway, she went to the bathroom and called me to tell me what's happening. After describing their conversation, it didn't sound like he was trying to get with her, but she said she could be more flirty if I wanted oh. so this Girl, he, I thought it was a PI, but it sounds like she hired her to, right. to f with him. Okay, keep going. Like, and trap yeah. him, basically? Yeah. Ooh. But she said she could be more flirty if I wanted her to. I reluctantly gave her permission oh. to try and get my husband to cheat. Oh! And a couple hours later, she said she convinced him to go <gasps> up to her hotel room to... <gasps> edit. She didn't actually go through with it. Oh. This happened yesterday. I was shocked. I'm oh. still shocked. Oh. It was that easy. All it took was some woman in her 30s to be flirty and he would throw away years of marriage. I'm numb. I'm not sure how to feel. I don't even know if this would have happened had I not hired the private investigator in the first place. Was oh. I out of line? Am I the asshole here? What does, or am I the scallywag right here? What does this say about me as a spouse? What escort service did you hire this BI from? Oh, yeah. See, no. this, I this think is... this would be even worse for me because oh, yeah. I'm like, okay, so has he cheated? Was this the first time he cheated? Yeah, of course. Especially because you said that you haven't been active in a loving way for like only a month. Yeah. I'm sorry, and like years of marriage, like only a month? Yeah. I mean, you know your husband best and his like, yeah. or his like habits and how he goes through, you know, life and everything like that. But yeah. it's still like this private investigator didn't seem so. This PI works in corn, I think. Yeah, like <laughs> that's not what I want. That's crazy. I don't know, man. So I'm assuming they've had a convert. I don't know. Maybe she just didn't even have a conversation about and it. And she just and like, she just went fully like he's probably <sighs> cheating, and I'm gonna send a PI out rather than being like, hey, we've been distant lately. You're feeling off. Like give him the best benefit of the doubt. Give him the chance to say something. Yeah. Like even like depression or I don't know. I'm not, I'm not taking his side, right? No. He's a shit, he cheated. No. But also you did not trap your husband, to. which yeah. is a little weird. And I'll give you this, like you do have those gut feelings. Yeah, for sure. For sure. And they're, I would say like a lot of the times they can be right, but yeah. sometimes they're not. And they, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I don't think you're necessarily like a scallywag, but I would have hired someone that was a little bit more discreet. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> and not coaxing my husband into it. Like, I just want to see if he's lying about this whole conference thing or I might have like had the private investigator like, you know, watch him for like a month. You would have hired a PI, hey? No, I wouldn't have. I'm just saying if I was- Okay, if you're in her, her situation. No, I don't think I would, I feel like I could be my own private investigator. You're right? Yeah. I dude, would I'd hire just, I just hire my best friend. I was like, I'll just man. hire my sister. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, dude, I'd love, I'd go in a wig and look. Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's see what the comments say. Um, yeah. What escort service did you hire this behind Yes, from? seriously. Uh, yeesh, your husband is physically and emotionally absent from your marriage and in your desperation, you tried to trap him into the role of the villain. He may have been anyway, but rather you stand up for yourself, you resorted to this trickery. You're both behaving badly. You asked 
for advice, but here's my pack of bag and stay with your friend or family member for a few days while you sort your head out. It's kind of rough. But it's also, yeah. Yeah, you're kind of, everybody's the asshole a little bit. Yeah. It seems low. Is yeah. There, I don't know. You're both a little bit of scallywags, I would yeah. say. He's more. He's more. He's more. Definitely more. But, but it's a weird situation. I've never been in it. Don't want to be in it. Nope. I hope you both find people that nope. actually are good for each other. Honestly, my husband's too lazy. <laughs> I'm too lazy. Yeah, uh, he just doesn't go out anywhere. <laughs> so just, not that he would, not that he would, but he also just stays home with the cows. So. You know, if he has a little like, you know, maybe a little flirtation I'd be with so a, a cart girl with all of his golfing. Yeah, I'd be excited if Caleb went out, I'd be like, oh my God. <laughs> but, but if that, I'd be like, you know, if the cart girl flirted with Adam, I'd just take that as a compliment. Cause I'd be like, yeah, right, I have good taste. Am I a scallywag for never telling my wife I cheated on her? <gasps> all right. Uh oh. All right. Sound I like it. Let's dive in. Last week was my 30th wedding anniversary. Dang. Today I turned 54 and is the first day of retirement for my wife and I. My wife and I met when we were 16 through friends and started dating shortly after. We were both complete virgins when we met so we learned and experienced everything together. We dated all throughout high school and long distance through college. Tough. And ended up getting married at 23. Dang. We have two sons and a daughter now. 27, 24, and 22. When I was 27, I slept with another woman because I was curious drunk and very stupid. Mm. I don't remember many of the details and they aren't important, but it was a woman that neither of us had ever met and I never heard from her again. As far as I know, my wife has never found out about this or had any hesitation in trusting me ever. My wife went to college but didn't end up pursuing much of a career, opting to take care of the kids. It was tough for a while and we both were stressed and this was around the time of the affair. Not making excuses for myself, just context to explain why I would be so short-sighted and why I was drinking. But I eventually got a better job we started budgeting paid off our loans from there money has never been an issue and we have been happy ever since i've accepted the fact that i will never truly be happy again but if what i've accepted the fact that i will never truly be happy again if i want her to get the happiness she deserves i don't want to pretend the guilt still eats me alive every day i still love my wife and she still loves me we have had so many happy and amazing memories and still do every day though most usually come with a lingering feeling of guilt too oh she spent her whole life dedicated to me, to our child, children, and our family. Now that we have all the freedom we've been waiting for in our lives, I feel as if I have to come to the crossroads and I have two options. One, continue living life as normal, take trips with my wife, play with my grandchildren, give her the retirement and the end of life she deserves with her husband, who she loves. I'm not really happy and I'll never be, but I am also not in a bad place. I could take this level of pain for the rest of my life and I probably deserve that. Is he just saying because he cheated he's not happy? I think so. That's what it sounds like, I guess. Two, tell her, I don't know whether she would leave me now or forgive me. I think she deserves to know the truth, but I also think it could crush her at the time in her life where she's supposed to be the happiest. Uh, so I need to know, am I the scallywick not telling my wife? And is it time to tell her now? Edit for, clarica for clarification. Uh, I know that I was scallywick for not yeah. telling her when it happened. And I know every year I didn't make, every year I didn't tell her makes me more. Yeah. Of a scary way. That's what I was gonna say. But what now? Shoo, buddy. Oh shit, bud. Damn, that's hard. I mean, it's not hard. I, I would just say, I don't know. I, uh, I'm just coming from a place of me. Yeah. I would not. First of all, wouldn't she? But also, no. would not be able to live with myself. No. In like every happy moment that we've had, or any like, because everybody talks about like, oh my gosh, like this person cheated on this person, like with their other, with their significant other. Yeah. And then, like, oh, I can never do that. And like in the back of your head, you know, you'd, oh, oh, the guilt would eat me alive. alive. I like, I couldn't. Oh. And then I, I like, how you did say, I could take this level of pain for the rest of my life and I probably deserve that. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I, I hear what you're saying. Cause like, yeah, I think you do deserve that. And kind of protecting her own peace. Yeah, I understand. I get it. But at the same time, <laughs> I think it's also a level of respect for your wife. Yeah. It's she is like a grown listen. person to make her own decisions and yeah. she, you deserve whatever she decides to do after yeah, that. Yeah, it's not that, yeah, you don't deserve to be like. I get that you're like, oh, I'm trying to look out for her happiness, yeah. but you've had how many years to tell her? Yeah, and I it, get it, it builds up. I don't know, like I, I don't get it, but I like I get it. Just, like just being devil's advocate, it's just like. I know. It's a one one thing. It was a one time thing. And you were drunk and, you and you've had a great And life. you know what? I, I like, you also 
said, what else did you say? Oh, here. It was tough while we were both stressed and this was around the time of the affair and you were like, take, like taking care of the kids and everything like that. Like as a yeah. new mom, that consumes me. Yeah. I'm sure maybe I'll get a little bit better as time goes on and everything, but it's like navigating a relationship with a baby yeah. and with kids is a whole new yeah, thing. I can't even imagine. It's a whole new thing. It's a whole new dynamic to the relationship. You're learning so much more about each other yeah. and you got- Pretty easy not to go f somebody though, am I right? Just I'm saying. like, I get that you went to a bar to like- Yeah, that's fine. But that's how, whatever. like you took the next step. For me, it's like when somebody cheats on somebody, I'm like, there's so many times where you could have just left the situation. Oh, that's the thing. That's why I don't I'm have like, sympathy. Why? I'm just like, no, you're a grown ass adult. Like, you know what you're doing. That's you know that I you think... drank. You know that you put yourself in that situation. Yeah, I so. still think you should tell your wife and she should just be like, I know that you're like, oh, this should be the happiest of her life right now. She should be her one out. <laughs> It should be the happiest time of your life right now, her of her life right now, but it's it's also like let her like you owe her you owe she her needs the, yeah the and ability respect. to leave you and go live a different life or to forgive you and you guys can get over it together. Yeah, and actually truly be happy with each other and yeah. not carrying this guilt. She could probably read into it after Absolutely. a while. Absolutely, yeah. She could think, oh, maybe he's he's especially uh, did it more than once. Yeah, or especially since you've retired and everything like that. Like now you're spending all this time together. Yeah, yeah, and exactly. Who's to say? You're obviously the scallywag, but yeah, like you said, I you don't know. know. I would just her. sit her down and be like, listen. I'm trying to think what, like, let's say Adam. Yeah, did, like I'm just in this situation. Me too. I will. I will if too. My husband, if my husband, if my husband, like we've been together for ten years now. He said, hey, by the way, year two. <laughs> by the way, year two, you know, when I was at school in Lethbridge, right. there was this one time that I, and I'll be like, I'd probably be like, okay, I need to know every little detail that happened. Yeah. Torture To torture bit. myself. Because <laughs> I would love torture doing myself. That. But I would be like, I need to know why you made this decision. And it'd probably take me some time. I don't think I'd leave him though. Yeah, that's. I, I feel like if you've had a I really good marriage and all this stuff and just, she had the capacity to believe him yeah. that he didn't do it, I, I think they probably would stay together. Yeah. It sounds like, or I keep looking at this camera, it sounds like. Yeah. The other thing would be my kid. Yeah. I, I, like being a, you know, we're both like our parents didn't stay together. I mean, we were super young. We didn't know any different anyways. No, but I was thing, born a bastard. <laughs> I don't know any better. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I was only like, what, not even two. Yeah. But it's like, you know, keep, try to keep the family together, I guess, as well. Yeah, but I mean, the kids are out of the house, so. That's true, too. Yeah. I don't know. That's it's a tough too. one. Tough situation. Shouldn't have done it. Don't f***ing cheat. Okay, we're back. She's all washed. I finished. The camera turned off. This is not a proper, I don't know. This video has been a bit of a shit show, but hopefully it's made sense to you. But we're back, we're blonde. I'm gonna blow dry it, but I'm first gonna cut it and Jessica's gonna read one more story and then we'll see yes. the final result. I'm not a scallywag for refusing to celebrate my own birthday. Me, pretty much. As older I get, I'm like, eh. One of our managers just loves to celebrate birthdays. Apparently they make their own a huge deal. Personally, if you like it, then more, the more power to you. I do not like it. I'm very uncomfortable being sung to, uncomfortable with all the attention. I am fine with the occasional happy birthday, but that's it. At the celebration of another coworker's birthday, I did not eat any of the cake. I did wish them a happy birthday, but I do not like cake. I do not eat it at home. Never been a cake fan. I did not. The manager questioned why I didn't have any, and I explained I do not care for cake, never have. They asked me what I usually do for my birthday celebration, and when I explained I do not do anything, they did not believe me. As my birthday approached, I made it clear I did not want any attention, nor did I want any sweets. I do not eat the sweets. I expressed myself to management and three co-workers. They kept asking me what treats I like and what is my favorite cake. Mm -hmm. Well, on the day, my cubicle was decorated, and all these people were coming up to me wishing me a happy birthday. My spouse told me to just let it go, so I did until lunch. At lunch, they tried to get me in, into a conference move, room to sing to me and had cake and everything. I refused to go in, explained again how much it makes me uncomfortable and how I do not like sweets. Another co-worker told me I needed to understand how much effort went into getting me something and decorating. They said I should apologize to the manager for refusing. Once I got home and told my spouse what happened, they said I was wrong and I should have just enjoyed the fact they wanted to celebrate me. I feel they just want a cake party <laughs> and were using me as an excuse to do that. My scallywag for not not wanting to party and not participating in the party. Y'all, they just want to 
Cake. Okay. Is this an office job or something, right? Yeah, cubicle. They want cake. Get over yourself a little bit. <laughs> I mean, I get you don't like to be celebrated. I hate it. I hate it. I hate parties, like birthday parties. I've never liked them. I totally get that. But also, I don't think it was that big of a deal. Like you could, I don't know. I understand like it's a respect thing too, but it's just at the like, end of the day, why? everyone loves cake, man. It's just yeah. an excuse for them to have fun at work. How long is happy birthday? 20 seconds? Yeah. And then you get a couple happy birthdays. I, however, I mean, my brother-in-law who special needs, we cannot sing him happy birthday. He, yeah, that's fair, but that's a very special case. I know. Yeah. yeah. I, but I get it. I get it. I, don't, I, I get, get it. what you don't. I don't know. But then again, yes, they probably should have just respected it and they could have just had a cake in your honor. Right. And they been like, hey, there is cake if you want it. They could have gone about it in a less uh, like, aggressive way. Yeah. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. Because I don't like to be put on the spot like that either. No. So but let's see what people say. Yeah. I'm curious. They said no. One person said no. You made it clear you didn't want the party. They threw yeah. one anyway. That's on them. When I worked in an office, I always used PTO on my birthday for the exact reason that I didn't want to deal with any birthday nonsense. Mm -hmm. Another person said no. Another person said no. This person said you shouldn't be put into a situation where you feel yeah. uncomfortable. I take it back. I take it back. I, that, I, that, that was a people pleaser in me. I would personally never say that. Like if somebody did something that went out of their way to do something, even if it was kind of selfishly for them, I'd be like, it's fine. Yeah. Like I'm just like water over the water under the bridge. Like it's not worth it. I'm just yeah. too old now where I'm just like, it's fine. It's, it's, it doesn't matter. Who cares? So yeah. And I get the it. The person's a pretty much no. <laughs> pretty much no. I don't think you are. I mean, oh. yeah, a little bit of suck it up. It is what it is. Yeah. They that's just, just how we grew up. Like, but at the like, same time, it's just like, I, I also respect yeah. your wish. If somebody told me I hate my birthday, I don't like being celebrated. I, don't, I wouldn't do it. I'd be like, crazy. Hey, they hate their birthday, but we want cake. So yeah. I'm just going to tell them we're using their birthday for an excuse for cake. Yeah, I'd exactly. probably just be that straight up. Be yeah. Like, we're using your birthday as an excuse. And I'd be like, go ahead, dude. That's fine. I'll grab a piece or she didn't like cake. So that's fair. The world keeps spinning. Okay. You will see her hair in three, two, done. Hopefully that looked good. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Look at how blonde and beautiful and shiny she is. Oh my God. I feel so Stunning. good. Stunning. I think I did 200 foils. You You guys did. were gone for a lot of it. Um, yeah. But we're done. I accidentally put my sister to work just for the few days she came okay. back to visit me. I used you. <laughs> I used you for a video. It's fine. Thank you. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like that. It really helps out the channel. And also subscribe. If you can subscribe. This will be the best YouTube channel ever. And I'll see your beautiful face in the next video. Okay? Bye! Bye.